Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm thrilled to finally share my ultimate KBO drama picks of 2023 with you. I know it's a bit late but with my hectic schedule I couldn't wait to sit down and discuss these amazing dramas. If you haven't checked out my previous videos for the first and the second half of 2023, you can find the links at the top of this video. In today's videos, I've created a list of 10 outstanding Korean build dramas that captured my heart in 2023. However, keep in mind that we were blessed with a total of 17 fantastic build dramas from Korea last year. Now without further ado, let's dive right into the video. But before we begin, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future recommendation or updates. Alright, let's get started. Number 10 on our list is Love Class 2. It's a cute drama with three couples. What's cool about it is the actors. They're not boring and the way they act feels real. The series is short though. I wish it was longer because the couples are interesting and the show ends too quickly. The best part is how the actors make everything feel natural. You won't find any awkward moments here. Plus, everyone in the cast is super cute which makes the show even better. I'd rate Love Class 2 8 out of 10. It's a good pick for your watch list. If you like adorable couples and easy to watch dramas, give it a shot. Moving on to our 9 pick, we have Happy Mirror Ending. At the start, I admit I was a bit confused with the character introduction. But as I dive into more episodes, the storyline unfolds into something good and better. This drama strength lies in its straightforward narrative, and soon you won't be left scratching your head in confusion. It opts for simplicity, focusing on smaller, less complicated stories which I find quite refreshing. However, it's worth mentioning that the passing has its quirks. The beginning might feel a touch slow, giving you time to adjust, but things pick up speed toward the end almost too quickly. Despite this, the simplicity and clarity in the story make it enjoyable, and you won't find yourself lost in unnecessary complexity. Overall, Happy Merry Ending earns a respectable spot with 8 out of 10. Now, let's shift our focus to the 8th spot on our list with Love Mate. The standout feature of this series is undeniably its cast. They're downright cute and adorable. What makes Love Made sign is its exploration of a simple yet joyful love story. The narrative revolves around an obvious romance adding an extra layer of intrigue. Throughout the series, you'll encounter countless cute moments that might just make you feel a bit crazy for the characters. Additionally, the fashion style in the show perfectly suits the vibe enhancing the overall visual appeal. I'm giving Love Made a solid ache. Watching it feels like stepping into a world where the sweetness never ends. If you're a fan of heartwarming love stories with a touch of craziness, Love Made deserves a spot on your watch list. Now let's dive into the seventh spot with a soldier to cry on. Brace yourself for a roller coaster of plot twists in this series. The trailer may have set the expectation for a bright and cute drama, but as the episode unfolds, it takes an unexpected turn to the dark side, making it all the more intriguing. One downside, perhaps, is the absence of a kiss scene, which some viewers might long for considering the spot on chemistry between the characters. Despite this, A Soldier to Cry On remains a fantastic drama that deserves your attention. The unexpected twist at death and the chemistry keeps you invested in the story. For its overall impact, I'm awarding A Soldier to Cry On a solid 8.5. It's a must watch for those who enjoy a mix of darkness and intrigue. Number 6 An Intentional Love Story. Initially, I didn't find this series promising, but it consistently surprised me, keeping me engaged with its unfolding narrative. 
the standout feature of this show is undeniably its story, which takes the viewers on an emotional roller coaster, leaving them craving more after each episode. What adds to the overall appeal is the noteworthy cinematography and the soundtrack. The visual and the music contribute significantly to the immersive experience, enhancing the emotional depth of the storytelling. The characters are well developed and the actors portray them convincingly, adding authenticity to the narrative. I'm giving Unintentional Love Story a solid 8.5 out of 10. It's a testament to the fact that sometimes the most unexpected series can turn out to be the hidden gems. Now let's talk about number 5, A Breeze of Love. This drama came out just a month ago and it didn't get much attention because the promotion wasn't great and they dropped all the episodes at once. It might be less known but the good thing is you can finish it in a day if you want to. What makes it special is the fantastic cast and their acting. The story is okay, focusing on university and school stuff which is common but it feels warm and real. The way the characters talk and connect is really good. The best part for me is the tension and the meaningful glances between them. I give this series 9 out of 10, it's a nice series to watch in one go. If you like school theme dramas with a heart, A Breeze of Love is worth checking out. Now on to the number 4 we have Bon Appetit. I'm handing out a solid 9 for this one because of the incredible chemistry and the tension it brings. Sometimes the connection between the characters just clicks, creating this exciting energy that keeps you hooked. Now for the number 3 we have Our Dating Sim. I absolutely adore this drama. The main leads portray the characters so well and their chemistry is just on fire. The kissing scene had me over the moon. The cast selection is spot on and the main leads match so perfectly that it makes me wish that they were a real couple. This series from me is a solid 9.5. If you're into heartwarming romance and fantastic chemistry, Our Dating Sim is a must watch. Now moving on to the second spot we have the egg sense. Oh my goodness, I have to say it again, this series is amazing, it's not like any other KBL you come across online. What stands out for me in this series is about the production quality and the story itself, they're amazingly perfect. I can't praise it enough for being such an incredible drama. Honestly, I'm at a loss for words, but the only rating it deserves is a solid 10 out of 10. And now, for the ultimate number one we have, Love Tractors. This drama has found a perfect place in my heart. The setting in a rural village adds a beautiful connection to the nature, and watching it lets you appreciate the certain surroundings. Love Tractor breaks free from BL stereotype, offering a storyline and characters that are both refreshing and unique. It tosses aside typical rules and introduces a pairing that's nuanced and captivating. Every aspect from the cinematography to the storyline, music, cast, and everything in between is meticulously chosen, making it a must-watch for BL fans. I'm giving this amazing drama a solid 10 out of 10. If you haven't seen Love Tractor yet, it's a gem that deserves your attention. Continuing down the list, we have some more Korean build dramas from last year. Individual Circumstances, 7 out of 10. Jin and June, 6 out of 10. Starstruck, 6 out of 10. All the Liquor, 6 out of 10. Sing My Cry, 6 out of 10. Bump Up Missness, 5 out of 10. And the last is Why Are You Korean, 5 out of 10. There you have it everyone, my ultimate favorite Korean BL list from 2023. I've enjoyed sharing these fantastic dramas with you and now I'm eager to hear about your favorites. Drop your recommendation and thoughts in the comments. Until next time, take care. I'll coach you all in the next video. Bye!